the apples met before the college hours. The bus because some of the students. It's a it's a private owned bus, not by the college. Private owned bus by by, by some private families, and so they were traveling. And as they were coming, they the accident took place, and uh, all the students were shifted to various hospitals. Eight students were shifted to the uh, Army Military uh, Hospital. Then we gave them a first aid, and then four of them have been, were sent with their parents to their home. And then four of them, the do doctor said, maybe it's good to observe them for 24 hours. So they are brought to another hospital. They are under observation, but uh, they are all normal, bulky, and then uh, under observation. And then the other students who came here uh, at the test time, I think nine of them came out of that uh, the driver and two students here now. On the rest are discharged from the hospital, the doctors, and so no complications. Uh, the driver, when the police went and met the driver after the incident, um, he was unconscious. And so people thought that he's dead. But now I just met him in the hospital. He's very normal. And the report of his uh, x ray and also uh, CT scan. Um, he's normal, no injury. So we hope that very soon he will regain because now he's very fresh, he's moving eyes and all that. And then another one is the same day in the hospital. He's very normal and spoke to him and he's okay. He's okay. I'm very sure that by tomorrow will be this week. Hopefully okay, that will be this session. Then another one, the student who is uh, going through little pain. Um, he is not responding to our conversation and uh, he is, uh, you know, he is in ICU. But uh, when he feels little pain, he, he can feel the pain. So when he moves, we can also feel him that he is responding and not completely in coma, but he can feel the pain. So this is the latest uh, you know, information that we have. Uh,